Several civic groups on Wednesday urged the government to monitor more closely radical pro-Beijing groups in Taiwan. The appeal comes just days after a member of the China-founded National Association for China's Peaceful Unification killed one Taiwanese American and wounded five others in a shooting in Southern California. A lawmaker urged the government to pass legislation concerning hate crimes to prevent attacks like the one in the U.S. from happening in Taiwan. They stand in solemn silence, praying for the victims of the shooting at a church in California last Sunday. The Presbyterian Church in Taiwan and the Taiwan Association of University Professors on Wednesday held a press conference. They spoke on the phone with a pastor in California who said the shooting had captured nationwide attention in the U.S. Everyone has a lot of grief, wounds and suffering in their hearts. As a democratic country we are, we should sternly condemn the use of violence to instigate this kind of destruction. The gunman has been identified as David Cho, a member of the PRC-founded National Association for China's Peaceful Unification. U.S. law enforcement says the shooting was politically motivated. The Presbyterian Church in Taiwan says the government should investigate the pro-Beijing Association's backers and its relationship with the Chinese government. The National Association for China's Peaceful Unification has a presence in Las Vegas, in California, and in all of the U.S. All its chapters belong to China's United Front Work Department. The Executive Yuan and the Legislative Yuan should speed up work on legislation to stay vigilant for foreign agents who try to harm Taiwan's freedom and democracy. We would also like to take this opportunity to call on the government to watch closely the hate speech disseminated by certain pro-unification groups in Taiwan. It can be said that this incident was an extension of this conflict of identities. They called on the government to work on keeping Chinese influence out of Taiwan. A lawmaker at the event said Taiwan should elaborate legislation on hate crimes. This is the clearest case of violence and severe harassment of specific peoples and groups. Hate crimes should have more severe penalties. Amid concerns that division fueled by pro-Beijing radical groups could give rise to further tragedies at home, representatives called on the government to enact legislation on hate crimes.